One of the greatest lakes in northern Alberta is Lesser Slave Lake. Today we're on the south side of Lesser Slave Lake in our 14-foot fishing boat with a 20-horsepower gas motor and trolling motor, as well as it's equipped with a depth sounder. It's great to know how deep the water is. And we've got our fishing gear, and today we're looking for walleye. There's lots of water to choose from, so we're just going to pick a spot. It doesn't take long before we catch our first fish. Barely makes it, it's about 43 centimeters. So a nice little walleye. But we're gonna throw it back and give it a chance to grow up a little bigger. Here we go. Chance. Here we are fishing at Lesser Slave Lake. There seems to be a few fishermen out today, and it seems like once you catch something, everybody figures you've got a lucky spot, so they want to be near you too. Actually, what we're using, what I'm trying to use here is this little yellow, these little yellow hooks, great for walleye. They just move around, got to be gentle. And actually, we're in about 10 feet of water right now, and uh, the, uh, the uh, depth sounder shows the fish actually are only about three feet from the surface. So there's, there's plenty of little schools here, and we're actually catching a lot of them. We're catching some smaller ones and letting them back. We did catch a couple here, and they're in the live well right now. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Cast them down there. Looks like one of our neighbors caught another one. Most likely it's a walleye. They all seem pretty small here, so we're going to do some trolling and find a new spot. And it doesn't take long before we hook another fish. Oh, I can see him. Tiny now. Oh, maybe. Good. I think she's too tiny. Look at that, eh? That was a walleye right there. <laughs> He's a little small. Did you actually measure him? No. One of the things a person has to be aware of all the time is the weather. The weather can change quickly at Lesser Slave Lake, and you don't want to be on the water when a storm is brewing. It's a good idea to get to shore as soon as possible. The lake is something else when the wind dies down. The water almost seems like a sheet of glass. Many feel that the evening is the best time to catch a fish. The diehards make their way on some of the sandbars to try their luck one last time. 